Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is to introduce you all to my Bagel Shop Business Plan template. Specifically, what I want to do is show you all what's in my Word document portion of my Bagel Shop Business Plan template. So the way the video is going to play out is first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and give you all a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do, and why I do it. From that point in time, we are then going to run real quick through my Bagel Shop Business Plan template. Again, the Word document. There are two portions of my template. One is the Word document, which actually has the business plan itself. And then there is a Excel financial model. And the Excel financial model is the tutorial for that is included in a separate video. But this is pretty much the tutorial. I'm sorry, this is pretty much what the... Um, the Excel model looks like you can make your changes for your financial projections for your bagel shop on this tab right here. <coughs> and then all the updated financials will go and roll over. All right. So as promised, let's move through this little video and we'll hopefully do it short, sweet and to the point. <coughs> Excuse me. As promised, a little bit about me, again, Paul Borowski, MBA, owner of Quality Business Plan. I am a professional writer, specifically a business plan writer. So if y'all do would if y'all would like me to write your business plan for you, you want to avoid playing with the bagel shop template, I'd be delighted to do so. Just pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Also, if you want me to complete the um, bagel shop business plan template for you, I do offer that service as well. I am also a published author on Amazon. Check out some of my books on there. Most of my books are dedicated towards you guessed it business plan writing um so I, I do have a few of them again please check them out there and finally i am an adjunct professor and subject matter expert for both business and finance so if your business plan you, you're able to knock it out of the park with i'm um, writing the business plan and using the template but those numbers just intimidate you and, and that excel file has, has got you quaking in your boots i'd be delighted to do your financial projection section only if need be all right, infomercial is da da done. Let's take a look at the Bagel Shop business plan. So here is the Bagel Shop business plan template. As I said earlier, I do have an Excel financial model that is um, accompanying this. So if you buy this, um, the Bagel Shop business plan template, you would download the, the Word document as well as the Excel file. And at the end of the video, I will show you the link where you can purchase the Bagel Shop business plan template. So when you do open the Word document, ba-boom, you are going to see the title page right here. It's going to say Bagel Shop Business Plan. On this page right here, what I recommend is go ahead and put some kind of a um, logo or what have you for your Bagel Shop. Put it right up front. Next is going to be your table of contents. When you're going through the business plan, you're inevitably going to be adding some meat to the bone. Um, so you're going to spruce it up a little bit, add more of your personal content to it, and you'll expand it. Um, as you see fit. Once you're done, come back to the table of contents, click on the table of contents, and you see where it says that little update table, click on that, and then click on update entire, entire table. And once you do that, all the headings will be updated as well as the page numbers. So the first part is going to be your executive summary. I give you some sections right here for the bagel shop summary, target market, financial highlights and the funding request. So these are the, um, you know, anywhere in yellow, this is where you're supposed to update your information. Um, for the financial highlights, we do have three numbers here. So once you are done, once you put all your information into the financial model, um, you make the changes as I show you in the separate tutorial that comes with this. Um, what you'll do is you click on the projections tab and then you're going to have three numbers right here your annual revenues your costs, and net profits so once you change your um, information in here in the information page all the financials are going to update for you once you do that you're going to take that first number that's six hundred thirty eight thousand. that number is going to be different for you but that's going to be your revenues and you're going to put it right here and then your expected cost four hundred sixty nine thousand dollars. i get it from this number right here and then after tax one hundred twenty nine thousand. i get it from that number right there <coughs> excuse me funding request this is how much money you need to get the party started and the terms um, again in the yellow change that information as you see fit the next section is going to be your actual business plan the, so we do have the executive summary which is a summary of the business plan and then we have the actual business plan itself and it's broken into the a bagel shop summary just you know you, just a summarization of your information then it's going to be your um, product, um, popular products, 
I gave you a head start for bagels, drinks, and miscellaneous, and then I just give you, like I said, you know, just, you know, a starting point for, you know, typical bagels that might be sold at a bagel shop, the drinks that might be sold, and then, you know, bagel sandwiches, cream cheeses, and such. So I give you a good starting foundation. Use a bullet point structure with this. It, it makes it a lot easier, especially for a restaurant slash bagel shop type rest um, business plans. Competitive advantage uh, is a little starting point there for you as well. Uh, primary target market, pricing strategy, hours of operation, location. Again, you change your square footage for the operation, however much your, um, your location is going to be. And again, I give you a good starting point with that. Business objectives and timeline. So we've got, um, you know, this is your business plan and a strategic plan is like your roadmap to success. So your business plan is going to describe your business. Your strategic plan is going to tell the reader, tell yourself how you, where you want to go and how you're going to get there. So I do put a snippet of a strategic plan inside the business plan. Um, we don't want to lose focus of the business, but it gives the reader an idea of your thoughts and ideas for the future. Industry analysis, I already did it for you. Um, this is information summarized from IBIS world. Um, I've got this information here as well as from other um, locations. So I've got it summarized here. I've got it it's sourced here. So it, it's, you know, it's I'm showing where the information comes from. SWOT analysis, the way you update your SWOT analysis, you click on a smart chart. Then what you do is you got a little arrow right here. You click on that little arrow and then right here is where you can go ahead and update it, that information. Organizational structure. This is the ownership information up here. And this is just what a typical bagel shop that I would envision would look like. The organizational structure. If you want to go ahead and change that again, click on the smart art. Click on that little arrow right here and then you can make your changes to that right here. Next section is marketing. Um, traditionally. Um, Bengal Shops, from my experience, is going to do marketing traditionally through the internet and social media. And so I give you some starting points with that section as well. Again, this is customizable. You go in here, you put in some information, update it, change it, um, or leave it as you see fit. Funding request, how much money you get, need to get this party started. It's going to be right here. The terms expected and the interest rates expected and so on. Next section is going to be financial projections. So once you're done updating the financial model, again, I I'm showed you, here's a happy, happy financial model right there. Um, once you're done updating that, you're going to come over here and you're going to replace these financial models. So the financial model, the way it's broken down is, is for the first 12 month, month to month, month one through month three, quarter one, month four through six, quarter two, month seven through nine, quarter three, month 10 through 12, quarter four, and then your income statement is right here for the next five years. So once you update your financial model, the, what you're going to do is first, you're going to go ahead and get rid of the financial projections that are already in the business plan, the placeholders. Then you're going to go to the income statement. So if you're going to do the profit and loss, you're going to highlight this information here, copy and paste it. Um, and for this example, we're going to do the income statement. So we're going to replace the income statement. So I'm going to highlight the income statement here on the financial model. We're going to go over to the business plan and we're just going to hit control V and it's going to automatically populate right there. And these are our now our updated customized numbers for your business. All right. So hopefully this was helpful, educational and delightful. Um, if you do want to go ahead and buy my bagel shop business plan template, um, it is available for sale. And all you got to do is just go to qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash bagel shop business plan template. Uh, you can go ahead and view the tutorials about it as well as make a purchase for the template. Um, and also, I do have additional business plan tutorials available and you can check those out for free qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash business plan writing tutorials. So I do have several tutorials, not only on how to write the business plans and customize my financial on uh, my business plan templates, but also how to customize my financial models as well. If you don't want to play with any of those um, templates, you, you don't want the aggravation, the, the fun, excitement, the growth opportunities, be delighted to write a custom business plan for you. Just check out my prices page at qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash business plan prices three. And then finally, there are some limitations to my financial models. Um, when you do buy the template, it, it does come with a customizable Word document. It comes with a basic financial model that's in Excel. 
these are not compatible with Google Docs and it's not compatible with Apple products. I do have some smart art in there and you're not going to be able to make the changes needed. So you do need Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word, and you do need Microsoft Excel. And then finally, there is no free phone support. If you have questions about the Bagel Shop business plan template, I would be absolutely beside myself delighted to have a conversation with you as to what's included in the Bagel Shop business plan um, before you purchase it. Uh, but after you purchase it, any questions about the um, Bagel Shop business plan, I would refer you to my, um, my tutorials down here. So, all right, hopefully this information was helpful, and as always, have a great day. Thank you.